next on Live. And now, here are Kelly Ripa and Jerry O'Connell. Back today is Jerry O'Connell. Yes. Hey, we were just talking backstage about uh, just being parents and, mm -hmm. and having kids and everything. And 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 you have seven-year-old twins. Do you think you'll have more children? Do you ever think about it? I, I have to say we've had the discussion. Um, it's actually, you know, I have two girls. I love them a lot. But I've said to my wife, like, uh, you know, as we <laughs> creep up there in years, yeah. <laughs> I've said, uh, you know, listen, um, maybe we should think about maybe having one more. I don't have a boy. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, we don't have a boy. And my wife is like, nope, we're close. We're close. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. all done. You're I mean, you know, we're not like, we're not, no one's fixed. I know you do that to animals. <laughs> no one's, uh, I don't know. We're not. No one's fixed. Like, we haven't gone to the vet and been like, take them off, doctor. Yeah. Um, uh, but. Uh, if you were to get fixed, who would get fixed? She would get you fixed, it's right? Such an interesting now, you, conversation. you would be the one fixed. It's such an interesting conversation. <laughs> it is a conversation we've had. Excuse me, my face is turning completely red now. This is, uh, um, this is uh, adult conversation. Um, uh, it has been decided that I would be the one who would be fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Look at how the women love that. They're like, yes, that's correct. That's um, the correct order. But we're going to get real personal. Um, I, 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 um, I, that has not happened yet. <laughs> um, I'm still kind of holding out hope that my wife will be yeah, like, you know what? let's do this. Come I on. Bet, I bet. She, when she was pregnant, did she have odd cravings? Did she crave certain foods? Like, what did she... Because I would think being pregnant with twins, that would be right. major. My wife was pregnant with twins, and I'll tell you something that's really interesting. Um, my wife rarely ate chocolate all the time. Uh -huh. And when my wife was pregnant, craved specifically dark chocolate. And it's so yes. funny. I have a daughter, uh, Dolly and Charlie are their names, um, and Dolly will only eat dark chocolate. Wow. Yeah. So That's such a rare thing for kids. Most kids are freaked so, out by dark chocolate. Everyone's freaked out by dark chocolate. Yeah, well, yeah, who right. eats the, who's like, you know what I want is some dark, dark. bitter, weird chocolate. You of do? course, of well, course. Well, the, Gelman, of the, course, is like, Gelman, the, I, I like dark chocolate. The Yogini, the wino, <laughs> 90%. dark chocolate. Oh, 90, of, right. You like, like chocolate like that tastes like licking the, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you lick the ground, <laughs> that's Gelman's that. chocolate. Don't you want, everyone wants milk chocolate. No, dark. I like white chocolate. Chocolate on my pretzels. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. yeah. 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 Oh yes. <laughs> White chocolate covered pretzels. Mm -hmm. The more sugar content, the better. If right. I'm gonna do it, I, I'm not a sh I'm not a sweets person. But if I'm gonna eat sugar, it's gonna rot my teeth on contact. Right. You know what I mean? Anyway, they have these uh, top ten pregnancy cravings uh, in the UK. Don't you want to know what people in the UK, yeah. uh, especially post this? These are post Brexit cravings. Okay. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Here we go. This is this is the list. The top ten. Number ten. Number ten. British women want olives, oh, or oh. olives as they call them. Olives. Okay. Olives. Right. Get me some of those olives. I'm pregnant here. Yeah. Bring me an olive. Number I said bring me an olive. Number no. nine. Number nine. They like chicken tikka. Chicken oh, chicken tikka. tikka. Yeah. It's an Indian dish. It's an Indian dish. It's chicken tikka a, a sort of masala. Chicken yeah. Tikka. Right, right. It's a. And number eight, they love ice. Yeah, just ice. Yeah. You have some ice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, can I, uh, excuse me, um, can I have a side of ice with that, please? <laughs> number, s number seven, they like Yorkshire pudding. Oh, wow. Please, sir, may I have some more Yorkshire pudding? <laughs> number six, blocks of cheese. They just want whole blocks of cheese. <laughs> Kelly doing the entire show in his voice. Please, please. Wait, wait, we still have five more. Somebody on 
Twitter once likened my British accent to a hate crime. No, no. I, I mean, I think if they do Oliver Twist on Broadway, you should play Oliver. I mean, this is like... Well, Lisa. Lisa, number four. Chicken and strawberry sandwiches. Strawberry and chicken sandwiches. Well, hold on a second. Why do you hit the pause button? How many people have had a chicken and strawberry sandwich in this room? Well, you haven't lived until you've had one, but you have to go to... You have to go to... The, to the UK <laughs> to get your chicken and strawberry. <laughs> And the other one is the chicken and snarlsberry. <laughs> Crazy. Snarlsberry sandwich. Hey, how about number three, chicken chow mein? Oh, okay. This is Good a chicken-loving people right here. <laughs> number two is jam. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. It's good stuff. Just, just jam. <laughs> Forget the chicken, just give me the jam. By the spoon? Do you eat, and you eat it by the spoonful? They, they just eat it with the fingers right out of the jar. Oh, really? Yeah. Strawberry jam, grape jam, it does like... Just jam, just jam, jam. Okay, just jam, jam. jam. Number one, the number one most craved, craved food item in the UK for pregnant women is... Drum roll. Seaweeds, yeah. Seaweeds? <laughs> I am um, plum out. I was eating it with my my chicken and strawberry sandwich. <laughs> now I now I've, I've come on. I've, I'm out of jam. <clears throat> now I need seaweed. <laughs> British people are weird. <laughs> like, that is crazy. Just please, sir, some more seaweed. <laughs> Let's go oh, with my salty. Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> oh, man. I'm afraid that I'm never going to be able to enter England again. <laughs> I'm, like, really nervous. There she like, is. Even... There she is. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you too, Jay. Sir, make her eat the chicken and strawberry sandwiches. <laughs> Boom. It's yummy seaweed. <laughs> you can't have any. <laughs> You make fun of us. We make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Ripper. You go now. You Brexit out of here. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know what? Here's a great... This is great. Because I want to know. I love your stories. <laughs> because you have... Uh, I have two seven-year-old daughters. You have... Teenagers in teenagers, all of them in, in your house, all of them. Well, because I got to tell you, my seven-year-olds, we give them, we have them iPads. By the way, this is a great tip. I buy used, like generation. I think they're up to generation eight now or seven. I buy used generation twos. Yeah, because they don't know. And my kids don't know. No, and it's like no. refurbished and it's super cheap. Don't let them have friends though. The friends will tell them that's a <laughs> generation two. <laughs> no friends for your kids. <laughs> um, but. Um, uh, like, you know, they, uh, my kids are just, because they're seven, are just getting interested in texting, and they love emojis. Like, they send... Oh, yeah, everything's If, if they get, you know, my phone or my wife's phone, they'll text emojis um, yeah. to each other. And I know it's not my wife texting me, because we're so old, we don't speak emoji, you know? Right. Um, right. But, uh, but what, is the, what is the right age for a child to get a smartphone? Ah, uh, that's such a good question. <sighs> Never. <laughs> um, no, uh... I, w I waited for my kids when they had to take the bus uh, up to, because they, they're, we live in the city, but they had to take the bus to the Bronx to go right. to school. And it was really more for my convenience. I needed to know when to meet them at the bus stop. When they were smaller, right. I needed to know when to meet them. So they so would say, I'm four would blocks say, away. Well, my daughter would say, I'm four blocks away. My son just left his phone off anywhere in the gym bag. It was up to my daughter, but I would say how, you know, on the way home, she'd say, on, on, the, on the bus. And then, speaking of emojis, I would say, how was your day? And the emoji of a dolphin <laughs> would appear. And I, What does that mean? I don't know. Well, like, a leaping, like a leaping dolphin. So I was like, did she have swimming today? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Do you speak emoji at all? No. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I know the turd. The you poop, know, the turd. The, the poop one means. But it's like, he's a happy turd, so I'm always confused. Like, poop would normally, like, a poop is like, you know, that's saying something. But the poop is like, <laughs> um, Guys, we have a big, big, big show today. But first, it is time for Drive Me Wild Travel Trivia.
amazing. <laughs> hey, all the way from Victoria, Guyana, is Melanie Headley, our trivia dancer. Hi, welcome. Yeah, it's so nice. Here. I'm sorry? Yeah, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you very yeah. much. And now you can take that experience back to Guyana and say, <laughs> I danced with, the, I did something out there today, nobody will believe that. <laughs> I sure can. Yeah. I just want to say, while it, some of the dancing was provocative, there was no actual touching that happened. Yeah, so. yeah, yes. <laughs> you were very provocative. <laughs> I am a little injured. I definitely did pull something there. Something. Yeah. There was you a pain from like my knee up. to like my, my inner ear. Um, listen, let's say hello to Leah Long from Flowery Branch, Georgia. That sounds nice. Whoa, Hi. Leah. Ah, uh, Leah. A girl after my own heart. Do you like pirates, Leah? Uh, so what do you do for work uh, over there besides hang out with pi pirates, Leah? <laughs> Well, I am a ballroom dance instructor. <gasps> oh my gosh. What is your I know. what is your specialty? Um, I like West Coast swing and salsa and of course Walt makes you feel like Cinderella. So I like them all. I just like to dance just like you, Kelly. I, I love it. And so does Jerry, by the way. So I'm gonna spin the wheel and see what you're playing for. <laughs> This is the Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach, Cancun in Mexico. Seven days, six nights in an oceanfront junior suite. It includes a spa treatment per person. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $10,000. Real slow. Oh yeah, no, I am. Um, listen, uh, for those who know me, milk I read one. these things real slow to give everyone a chance to get to their computers. Okay? Yeah. okay. So make sure your internet connection is a little better than your cell service. <laughs> Sorry, saying. Very nervous about it. Okay. Um, here we go. We had Jeff Goldblum. Jo Jeff Goldblum, Bloom, Blum. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum on the show. Jeff Goldblum on Live with Kelly. <laughs> Turn it on, the computer. Search. The website's called Google. Yep. <clears throat> In what 1996 film, Jeff Goldblum, 1996 film, and its current sequel, current sequel, did we say Jeff Goldblum starred in? Start the clock. We had Jeff Goldblum on the show. 1996 film and its current sequel. Did we see? Is it Independence Day? Yeah! Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach, Cancun. Located on Cancun's most secluded stretch of White Sand Beach, Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach, Cancun offers 602 all suite oceanfront accommodations, a world class 40,000 square foot gem spa, an awe inspiring pool, a variety of dining options, and much more. Your prize is valued at approximately $10,000. Yep. That is so bloody good. What? Oh, God. And, you know. I said it was so bloody good. It's oh, so bloody good. Oh, it's so bloody good. It's so good. We're so happy for you. You need to put down the soup can though and get pick up the phone. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, listen, right. Leah, we are so happy for you. That is great. See, it was worth the and wait. Worth the and way. Kelly, I love you so much. I love Fashion Finder. I just hope this show runs for many more years. Oh, you are the yeah. sunshine of my morning. You really, I'm sure you're the sunshine of many people's morning. You just make me so happy oh. to start the day with you. So oh. you're just a real joy in the world. Thank, Thank you. You bring me joy. <laughs> now you can tell make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 appliance package from Cuisinart. So please pick a number between 1 and 169. 
Lucky number 13. 13, 13. Head on live from Suicide Squad, Margot Robbie, Mimi Lee, and coming up next, Matt Damon. say this honestly you are the best liked guy in show business what is the secret to that because <laughs> well, you were a monster backstage yeah. <laughs> yeah i think that's a pretty low bar <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. I, I think, I don't know. I, I think ever since I got famous, I got too much credit for everything. Really? So, yeah, I, I don't, I think I'm pretty normal. Um, I really do. I mean, in terms of like, you know, the way I'm, I don't think I'm any nicer than Jerry. Jerry's is exceptionally nice also. He is a nice yes, guy. Yes, he's a nice uh, Let guy. me tell you something. You are way nicer than me. <laughs> I mean, I it's unbelievable. So, uh, I don't make eye contact back there. I'm just like, I keep to myself. Uh, now, tell me, listen, I don't want to get weird here or make this awkward uh, you're wearing a tight fitted shirt you are in incredible shape right now is that like i know this is getting awkward not really no, no. no this is getting awkward we we saw the movie you have a shirtless fight scene it's intense that's not just like a gym membership like a free one month gym yeah, membership exactly. you're you're not taking the spin class that i'm taking like how, how does no. How does one get that? No, I, you know what? I tell, I'm 45 now, and I, I, I would tell any 40. <laughs> I would tell any 45-year-old guy, dudes. to all the guys out there who are wondering, I, I will tell you right now, it's not worth it at all. <laughs> it's, it's not worth it's, it. It's, it's no, it's too much work. It's like a full-time job um, at our age to do that. Main, like, you mean maintaining your body? Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's just a lot of work and, and dieting, too. And I, and I love right. to eat and, you know, and I love going to eat with my wife and like, <laughs> I, you know, and you can't eat anything. So did your wife, when you were training for this film, this is what I'm curious about, when you were training and you couldn't have anything, you know, you're down to like, what is it, chicken breast? You know, basically. Chicken yeah. breast. Chicken breast every 15 minutes or something? Right, no, it's not as like The Rock, I think, it, like that diet right, that he right. published, right. like that's the insane. I, I couldn't, the right. cod and yeah. like every, every, you know, down to the minute. Like, I tried to do I, it, I, I couldn't. I, that's impossible. I was at the drive through in like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> But it is very strict, um, you know, vegetables and protein. But will and your wife do that with you, or does she stick to her normal plan? And no, she was super supportive. I mean, the hardest, the, 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 what I needed the most help with was, you know, when the kids would eat. Because, you know, when you're, when you're cutting their food or you're planning, or you're right. getting that, you know, preparing that, it's like, that's brutal. Yeah. But your, that's, kid, your kids are a little big to be cutting their food, aren't you? No, it's true, but just get, but, but yeah. like plating the food. when you're on a diet, you're like, I'll yeah. cut that. <laughs> well, I call with my kids, it's always, I call it taxes. Oh, yeah. daddy's taking some taxes. You know? <laughs> but I wasn't allowed to take taxes while I was getting ready for Jason. You, Moore. um, you have... Four, not one, not two, not three, but four girls. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. There's so much, so much estrogen in the house. There's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Is, is there a male pet? Is there like, is, is there? Well, I, I put my foot down uh, when, when we got a dog, and, and the first dog we got was a male dog. Yeah. And, then, and, Good now, for you. and now we rescued a couple more dogs, and they're female dogs. So right. there's even more estrogen in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it's it's six against two, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's it's um, we're way outnumbered. But you're yeah. a, I think you know it's so funny. I, I always talk about this at, at Jimmy Kimmel's wedding. The big talk the next day at, after the uh, pre prenuptial dinner, you know, the night before dinner, all of the women around the pool were saying, "Did you see Matt Damon holding the baby?" And Aww. it was the conversation 
interpretation of the pool was Matt Damon holding the baby is probably like something all people should witness before they die. <laughs> because it's just the most was, nurturing. But that was lovely. totally selfish because that wasn't our baby. I know that, it wasn't that was, your baby. Yeah. I know. I know. But, but I know. it was one of those things where we were there and, and our friends had this newborn and, and we'd had our, la you know, we're, we're not having any more kids and <laughs> we were never going to have a baby that small yeah. again. And so once I started holding the baby, I couldn't, I couldn't give him up. No, no. That's, his, that's his nice guy trick. He travels to weddings with babies. We know you're a real kid. It's a really good commercial break. When we come back, we're going to find out why Matt almost got banned in his beloved Las Vegas. Stick around. Everyone cheers. I'm getting pummeled in that seat. <laughs> During that clip, Matt starts voiceovering his own movie. He goes, Time for some karate. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have never felt so safe on the show in my life, sitting right next here to Matt. If somebody comes in, I can challenge them to a fake movie fight. <laughs> I have a question for you. How quickly could you choke Gilman out? <laughs> These are jokes, everyone. These are jokes. No, only, I, I, oh, yeah, no, no. We, we would have to, it, it, only if it were a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, this is completely non-translatable skill. You, uh, you mentioned that you're 45 years old, and this is, is this true, your 57th movie? I guess so, is yeah. Is that really true? Uh, yeah, and, yeah. No, I, believe me. Do you ever, do you ever make do you, have you made a bad movie? I've never seen you in a bad movie where I've gone, well, that Matt Damon film was a waste of time. <laughs> I, try to, I try to sweep those under the rug as quickly as I can. Um, no, I, but, you know, the only reason we get to do this job is because people go to the movies. And, and so I'm, I'm really grateful, really grateful. I mean, to do this movie, like, you know, to be back on the set with all these people that I've made these other movies with mm -hmm. and I love and I trust and... You know, it's just, it's a, it's a privilege. So, so, I mean, it's because of you guys. We heard, we heard that. Um, it's true. It's true. If you guys stop going, to, like, if you picked an actor and just all decided to stop going to their movies, you would not, like, that actor would just be done. Like, really. Yeah, that's, that's what Basically. happened to me. <laughs> I'm really sorry I started that boycott. I mean, I just, I just, I heard footsteps. I was getting nervous. Wait, oh, I heard man. that you were almost banned from Las Vegas. Why were you almost banned from Las Vegas? I didn't think that was possible. Well, I mean, did you see what we did to Las Vegas? Well, I mean, no. in this movie, but I mean, you, you blew up. I mean, I'm guessing close to 200 cars on the street. It was. They right? told me at the end it was 170 cars wow. that we told, that we told. Wait, that's not CGI. Those are no, really no, no. That's all real. No okay. yeah. insurance. Yeah, oh yeah, but God. we. Well, the, you know. To shoot, like when they said they were going to shoot on the Las Vegas Strip, I was like, you guys don't, <laughs> there's no way they're going to let us. I mean, in front of the Bellagio, like we shot the end of Ocean's Eleven there. Like yeah. it's this iconic spot and like they don't, that was on the sidewalk. Like right, we, right. we're not, and, uh, but the city was great and they really wanted it to happen and the film office and everybody got together and they were, they were, they, they made it happen. So once we knew that we had that iconic location, we, we realized we had to like really go big. Yeah. So. Oh, that's great. That's so Don't forget to check out Matt Damon as Jay She's the Australian actress who's made big waves in Hollywood, becoming one of the most sought after leading ladies. Please welcome to the show, Margot Robbie. <laughs> show to do this, what were we thinking? Oh, steps anywhere but the couch, yeah, I guess. I mean, but, yeah. yeah, luckily you're on the dry side. <laughs> you you're on the dry towels. side of town, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool shoes. I know. Right. Let's got. get a look at them. Come on. Oh, my yeah. gosh. I'm yeah. struggling to walk in them. I was, thought I was going to take a tumble with that. You know what? How do you like our beach house? It's, I would think I you'd be right at home I here. I feel at home. Right? I was yeah. going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Like in Australia. Um, there was a picture of you. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you know this. I made it in the newspapers here in New York. It's one of my favorite pictures ever because for many reasons. Number one, you're surfing, and that's incredible. Mm. But you're falling off the surfboard. But 
you're so gorgeous that even you fall off a surfboard <laughs> with complete gorgeousness, pointed toe, <laughs> beautiful, nothing, nothing, nothing is jiggling, <laughs> nipple, no nipple falling out, it's all like just perfect. I styled it out. I tried. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm surfing. I'm more falling. While Are you a good surf. surfer? Because it seems clearly like you... not. Clearly, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> clearly not at all. <laughs> oh, it was so embarrassing. Yeah. I saw those photos come out, and I was just like. If you don't laugh, you're gonna cry. Yeah. So just yeah. put it on Instagram, laugh at yourself, because everyone else is going I, to. I mean, I, that's my new headshot. <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind. Um, but oh have you, did you grow up surfing? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's kind of like a, one a of thing. those things you can't really avoid in Australia. It's, it's brilliant, you do it when you're little. Yeah. I did it way more when I was younger than in recent years. I so. would think the film I'm companies would not want you surfing. No. Because right? no. they want you totally Insurance perfect. purposes, right. you can't right, right, do right. that stuff. Yeah. Um, now, you currently live in London. Mm -hmm. Now, you have four roommates right now, but at one time you had seven roommates? Yeah. Are, are you running a flop house? Like, what, yeah. what, is, what is happening here? Is this legal? It's, uh, it's, we just kept adding to the clan, and then before we knew it, we were like, this is way too many people for a four-bedroom right. house in London. Like, places are much smaller in London. Right, so, right. Um, yeah, it was a bit crowded, but some of the funnest years of my life. No sure. kidding. Yeah, it's really good. So when you when you live with those people, who uh, like how does it come to be? Were you all were you did you start out in, like were you modeling? I don't know how no. you started out early on. Were you always an actor or did always you acting? No, no, no. I've never done modeling. Oh. Um, but as as for my roommates, we uh, it was I was really just in London for I think it was the Wolf of Wall Street premiere. Oh. And um, a bunch of friends that I'd met in Belgium on a job that live in England, whatever. We were all having a night out and at the end of it we're like Imagine if we all just lived together. Wouldn't um, that be funny? Can I ask you, the, re the refrigerator situation, are you guys putting post-its on your food and it's, saying, uh, like, this is mine? It's kind of like a free for Like, our, our fridge is so pathetic anyway. It's just got, like, a couple of stray beers, some hot sauce, and, like, a jar of pickles. Like, no one's fighting for anything in there anyway. That is, that sounds like heaven. Yes. <laughs> it's very much like a, so a dude's Have place. you ever had a bad roommate? Like, was there one bad apple in the bunch? Because that can ruin the whole house There's, mojo. like, testing times when when you live with boys, it's kind of like some things are always going to kind of irritate you. Yeah. Um, fortunately, there was like another two girls in the house that so was kind of evened it out. Right. But one time, yes, this really did upset me. I came home, I'd flown in from somewhere and there was a party going on at the house as there usually was. And I walked in and everyone's like, come join. And I was like, okay, I'll, I've got a, all my luggage or whatever. I put my stuff down on the bench, go to grab a drink. And someone spilled a bottle of vodka on my passport, <gasps> but I'm not there. And in their drunken state, they thought, it, oh, well, I, I should dry it out. Put it in the microwave to dry it out. And of course there's like an electronic chip in your passport. So that broke. Oh, Plus that like the pictures all like, and so, I only just got a new passport. This was two years ago this happened. Oh, and my God. the gosh. last two years, every time I'm trying to get into a country and I'm flying, like, once a week, they pull me aside and they're like, ma'am, your passport is really water damaged. I'm like, it's vodka damage, actually. <laughs> yeah. And yes, I know the chip doesn't work. It got put in the microwave. It's a long story. That, like, is, that is, I mean, that, you don't mess with somebody's passport. Yeah, that's, grounds, that's, that's grounds, grounds for eviction. eviction. That's grounds for eviction. That is, that's right. I mean, I like I, I. I've been saying all week. My sons live for the, this comic. They are cannot wait to see this movie. It is so exciting. You are villains, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess the way it was explained to me, there's bad guys, and then there's villains, right? There's bad it's guys like, and it's not like horrible good versus bad. It's like bad, bad versus, versus evil. evil. <laughs> right. That's it. That's it's like a someone good got that printed on a jumper right. at some a sweater at some point and I was like, ah, oh, that's a good tagline for you it. You play Harley Quinn. Yes, I right. play Harley Quinn. I'm I'm the judge of <laughs> By the way, I'm just gonna come
I'm, I'm going to come out and say it, that you will be the most um, utilized Halloween costume this Halloween. I, you okay. with that is goes I'm, without saying. I, I'm, I'm already going as Harley Quinn. It's already been. It's official. We were at Comic Con the other day, and I saw dudes dressed as Harley Quinn. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, I love this so much. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is brilliant. So tell us about the character. She's nuts. I mean, yeah. she's she's completely psychotic. She used to be a psychiatrist, so she understands, uh, you know, mental illnesses. Probably has a couple herself. Right. Like it's like. Yeah. You she, she can, yeah, but you never know if she's pretending to be crazy or if she actually is crazy. I don't think she knows herself, but she's wild. She's funny. She's fun. Yeah. She's, uh, yeah, I mean, the, everyone in the squad, they're like anti-heroes. Like, they're doing a good thing, but they're not doing it. They're not really playing by the rules, so it's it's fun to watch. Fun or scary to play off of Jared Leto? Terrifying. Oh, wow. really? Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. He's just so committed and so, like... Does he stay that the whole time? That was Mr. J. Like, we hung out with Mr. J for that whole shoot. Then we hung out with Jared, like, since then. It's like <laughs> they're two different people. So during lunch, at lunch break, you're dealing with. Is Mr. J. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, all the time. It's, oh I mean, it's incredible his commitment. So uh, Jai was here yesterday and he showed us <laughs> his tattoo. That they, says squad that or the squad. queens that like. Yeah. It's so a squad. And you, he said. You did it. Yeah, we did. We did a bunch of. We, everyone got squad tattoos on set. Even you, David Ayer, our director, did it. No, but you. Are you a tattoo yes. artist? No, not an artist. I am a person who owns a tattoo gun. <laughs> and I think there's a very clear distinction because you, what I do is not art, and I wouldn't want to disrespect actual artists out there. Could I own a tattoo gun? You get them on eBay. <laughs> Seriously. Isn't there some sort of background check or something for these I things? I mean, if, you're, if the, someone's willing to get one, it's kind of like, well, sure. Oh, my gosh. We are so getting a tattoo. Yes. We're getting a I tattoo. I should not back. condone this. I actually don't know if I meant to, like, if, no, if there's, sure like, a No, I'm sure it's rule against or, everything. But it's, probably, it's probably definitely but against e the rules. But thank, thank God for thank eBay. God for eBay. Thank you, Let eBay. us just say, please do not try this at home, <laughs> please, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't encourage you at all. an illegal, unhygienic, <laughs> unsanitary <laughs> tattoo. Go see Suicide Squad. Yeah. Go. Tune in to win giveaway. Tune in every day starting Monday, August 22nd through Friday, September 2nd, and look for our Tune in to Win Live Kelly Go animated character <laughs> image of the day. When you see the image on the screen, take a selfie of yourself with a Live Kelly Go animated character. Then submit your selfie photo with that day's image each day for your chance to win a seven day, six night trip for two at the Aruba Marriott Resort and Stellaris Casino. Your trip includes round trip airfare, deluxe ocean front room, a $100 a day food and beverage credit, and a sunset sale for two. Go to livekelly.com to submit each day's photo and image. Entries must be received by midnight Eastern time that same day, and each correct selfie photo with image counts as one entry. guest has been seen in the ballroom, in the boardroom, on Broadway, and on TV, and hanging out with a bunch of housewives in Atlanta. Please mm. welcome back to live Nene Lee. <laughs> Husband backstage. Yeah, Ooh. he's he's a girl. He's got muscles. I know. I took care. I took care of myself. What can I say? Yes, yeah, that man, you honey. Yes. Thank you. God, girl, Thank you look you. good. Thanks. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Miss Nene. Hi, honey. You look good. <laughs> you look beautiful as always. Look now, at this. Listen, before we get into all of your other endeavors. Yes. Are you coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Did they say Housewives? I said, no, I just, <laughs> I just need to know because you are why I tune in and I need Aww. to know that you're going to be there so Aww. I can see, I need to see you and feast Aww. my eyes and well, quote you. Well, let me just say, I love the Housewives. Okay. I've been there since Jay 
What? Are you right? Well, I just have to say, I, I can't tell you guys that yet. Okay. But what I will tell you is, I've I've always been there. I'm loyal to Bravo, so I will be there in some capacity. How about okay. that? Okay. Okay. Hey, right. I, 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 I have a question. <laughs> um, I, I have a question. Last season, yeah. you were on a little bit intermittently. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you still watch, even though you weren't on? Yes, I did. And I was like, Lord, let me hurry up and get back over in my chair. <laughs> 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 let me hurry up and get back. They need me. So I heard that. I heard yeah. that you had like a hand in the casting of the original, the original I group. I did, I did. When they first saw me, they came out and interviewed me and they were like, okay, so we've been having a hard time. Who do you know? And I said, listen, this is who you need to call. Kim Zosiak, Sheree Whitfield, Deshaun Snow, and we all became season one Real Housewives of Atlanta. Wow. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's amazing. But were you acting then? Because I feel like you- I was. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you're so good. You have mm -hmm. so, you're so- um, uh, Versatile. Yeah, versatile. You can oh, do, you. do all of it, but I, I had you. a feeling you were acting then. I was, but my career hadn't really taken off, mm -hmm. and being on Housewives, it really gave me the platform for my career to really take right. off. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. doing great, and you're always going to do great. Now, you don't like yeah. to refer to yourself as a <coughs> grandmother. You refer to yourself as a, a glam mother. Yes. Tell us about that, because your little four-year-old uh, grandbaby. Yeah, my glam baby will be four. <laughs> <laughs> my glam baby will be four this weekend, <laughs> and the reason being is because I'm young, and I thought, when my son was young having a baby. I felt like, well, I'm just a little bit too young to be using the word grandma. <laughs> You're correct. So yeah. I would love to be called a glamma. Yeah. So I had to come up with something that was it fun. You. Yeah. Yeah. And that was cool. Cause I thought grandmas, you know, they have gray hair and all that stuff. Right. And I wasn't that right. girl, you know, I love a good old wig and big weed. <laughs> so I was so like, I'm more glamorous. Good. This is good. Right. Nobody yeah. thinks of me as a grandma. No, yeah, nobody. It's the last word that came to mind when right. you walked out there. All right. When we return, we're going to find out about the latest job Nini if you'd like to know more about anything you see on live, log on to our website at livekelly.com. What kind of gifts did you used to give Taylor Swift? Well, I'll tell you one that I remember on Valentine's Day. I got the keys to her car, I organized it with her mom. And they got her a huge bouquet of flowers and a big thing of chocolates and I put it in her car. After class, she went out and got it. Number three, you're spending a lot of time with Taylor Swift's mama. <laughs> That's a scene from To Tell the Truth. I used to love this show. That is such a good show. Hey, Kelly, I'm, my hair was looking like yours, I know, girl. I like that hair. I yeah. like your hair. I, I like your hair every length. Yeah, I like it's that. Really that good. was a good length. So now, for people who um, don't know the, the original version of To Tell the Truth, explain yeah. it to everybody here. Well, the original version is pretty much like the version that we're doing, but we right. brought it up to like the 20th century. We're doing it like a whole new way. Right. But the original version is, is sort of the same. There's like three people that comes in and they say, I'm Kelly Ripper. No, I'm Kelly Ripper. <laughs> no, I'm Kelly Ripper. And we have to decide on who's telling the truth. Who's the real Kelly Ripper? Yeah. And only one has sworn to tell the truth. Well, it's and me. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so today we have, and on our show today, we have a live band. So we brought it up a little bit more newer. And on our panel, it's me, um, Anthony Anderson is the host, um, Jalen Rose, who is an ESPN sure. analyst. Yeah. And we also have Betty White. Oh, perfect. She's amazing. Oh my gosh, perfect. Yes. Let me tell you about Betty. She is amazing. I have to tell you guys this because so much today, I've worked on so many sets, and I know you have too, Jerry, where people come to set, they come late, right, right. they complain, they do all this stuff. Betty does none of that. Well, that's oh, because she's, I mean, she's, she's a school. real pro. Yeah. She wow. has on her riders yeah. list, you know, a lot of the yeah. young people today, they want to have juices, m and m roses. Right. They need all right. kinds of stuff, right. water. Right. Right. They need somebody to rub their feet. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Betty comes in and Betty she needs nothing. Yeah. Right. No. <laughs> Betty don't need There's anything. vodka tonic. <laughs> no, right. she needs nothing. Yeah. Nothing. She sits there. The whole schedule is just like mine. Yeah. She's there until the end. Great. And I asked her, I'm like, Betty, you can leave now. She's like, no. Yep, amazing. she's amazing. amazing. You also have, you'll have guest panelists as well. Yes, we do. So who was your guest panelist? Okay, uh, get ready. Okay. Mike Tyson. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He was something. Yeah, so. Girl. That was a segment. Oh my we God, have Tracy me. Ellis Ross, who's amazing oh, on the so show. Cool. She works with Anthony yeah, Anderson. She does work right, with Anthony. She's amazing on the show. We have a couple of comedians that come on the show. Right. We have Damon. He's from the Shark, the Shark Tank. Damon. Sure, oh, yeah. Yeah, He's so yeah, amazing yeah. on the show. Yeah.
show, Ed O'Neill will be here. And from Game of Thrones, Mikheil Houseman. Yeah, and Brandi Clark performs, and Jerry will be back tomorrow. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah.